What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Gaming Decorator and welcome back to new Pokemon Snap. We're picking up right where we left off at the end of the previous video. Uh, what we did was we did Florio Nature Park. We did that during the day. At the end of the video we unlocked the night portion. Which they showed a Caterpie with what looked like the Illumina orb thing, whatever it's fully called. So we unlocked that. At the end we're going to start that. We're going to do that. And what I actually did was uh, I went through the day part again. Just to do like a couple runs, just to sort of get like a little bit of a feel for uh, uh, for some controls and whatnot. I think it looks, it looks pretty good at night. Um, I went through again during the day, just a few times. Nothing, all that in particular. Ooh, there's a score bunny. Come on, pal. Here we go. Oh, he's flaming too. All right, so we got Bufflin over there. All right, we got Bidoof over there. Can we get a nice big old? Nice big old Bufalant sleeping. That, that's just the Bidoof I hear behind me. Okay. Yeah, let's try that one as a Bufalant. Ooh. Ooh, here we go. That's a nice shot. I like Pidgeot. Score Bunny. I saw you. I saw the flame. Where are you? Come on, pal. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. Oh. Alright, we'll have to come back and definitely hit this again. Ooh, Murkrow. Ooh, that's a lot of Murkrow. Alright. Ooh, there's a Tangrowth. I actually did find one during the day. So I, either I played through it enough or I missed it the first time. But I did find one. Which, it didn't have its back to me. So I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna worry too much about getting that just yet. Ooh. Staying the Caterpie really quick. What you got? What we... Oh... Alright, uh, noises are coming from this unnatural bump in the ground. Is that the... Okay. Ooh! Oh, look at all this Torterra. Hell yeah, look at that Torterra. Look at that big boy. Or big girl, rather. Alright. I love Torterra. He's my, uh, he's my favorite Gen 4 starter between... Turtwig, Chimchar, and, uh, and Piplup. Can we get... There we go. Oop, score bunny. Come on. Oh, look at Pidgeot. Look how close he is. Oh, there's another... Wow, oh, there's a... Oop, oop. There we go. We got Bidoof. Oh, Bidoof is chilling over there. Can we... Oh. Grass is in the way. Come on, a little more centered. There we go. Alright. Here's Hoodoo. What up, dude? Right back there actually was where I found the, the Tangrowth during the day. Ooh! Oh, how cute is that? Oh! I don't know how... I mean, that'll count for having, like, other Pokemon, but not specifically for Pichu or, or Grookey, which is pretty nice. Oh, what up, dude? Why, oh, there's a ton of new Pokemon during the night. I like that. Alright, who you gonna you gonna chill there for me? Ooh, and there's Komi who just flew right by me. I just seen that score... There he is. Oh, these Torterra are awake. Yeah, there we go. Uh, what's this? Alright, can I get a... Come on. Somebody give me a good shot here. Come on, Combi. Come on there, Combi. No? Okay. Uh... Alright, we're going to play through this course again, because I'm sure there's a whole bunch of stuff that I missed as I was spinning around like a like an idiot. But that was, pretty, that was a whole lot of cool uh, new Pokemon. That was, um... Yeah, I wasn't expecting all that much. So the professor saw, what, a huge reading, it said? Alright, we got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. 
All right, let's see here. Score bunny, let's do... We're gonna do that one. I like that one. Um, let's try this one for Buffalon. I got a three star of him actually looking like this, but like slightly different. So if I can actually get him a little bit more diverse for the photos, that'd be great. Actually, can I show it here? I can't, okay. I do, I got a three star of him like this, but almost exactly identical, but for whatever reason it's considered three star. So let's do that, see if we can change that a little bit. I like that one, Pidgey at him looking a little bit over his shoulder. Alright, and then Torterra, let's do... Let's try that one. I like it because he's just kind of chilling there. And he's got some Pokemon that are comfortable enough to sleep on, uh, or underneath him, rather. So, let's see what that looks like. Pinterest's like, whoa, what's up? Oh, do I have... Oh, I got... Alright, we'll do that one for starters. Let's do that. Alright, Professor, what you got? Alright, see, I also turned up the audio a little bit, because I realized I couldn't really hear it in uh, the previous video, either. Alright, so we got Score Bunny, let's see here. What we got here, total? Right off the bat, another crystal. Hell yeah. Alright. That's going on. I wonder, I wonder what the fire one would have been. Okay, let's see here. Anything? Ooh! Ooh! There we go! Look at that! Oh, yeah! There you go. See, as you can see, like, the three-star was almost identical to what I had here. Alright. Alright, Pidgey, I like that one. Let's see what we got here. Give me something good, Professor. Hell yeah, right, right off the bat, another one-star... one-star crystal. Well, I didn't realize there was another Caterpie when I took that picture. Four star? Whoa! Wow, how is that a, considered a four star? Alright, okay. Torterra, okay. Come on now. What do we got here? Alright, one star? Come on, give me something good. Hell yeah, right off the bat. Alright. Loving this at nighttime, okay. Oh, it's got Murkrow. A couple of them in the background. Come on now. Come on, Professor. Three star. What we got? Yeah. <laughs> Killing it. Yes! Alright, Hoot Hoot. Much better at um, photographing his ass. So, come on, Professor. Be kind. New record. Way better. Hell yeah. Alright, Pinsir. What we got here, Pinsir? Alright, two star. 2,000 for... I think that's max for the... For the size, hell yeah. Wow, everything's been like super, super good for the nighttime. I'm loving it. Alright, park at night. Give me some good points. Everything was new here. Alright. I imagine the Pokemon behave differently at this hour. Keep up the good work. Alright, you went on the first expedition at the park at night. By the way. Thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Alright, let's return to the camp. Come on, I gotta be getting like an item or something soon, right? Because there's like fruit you could do, there's some sort of music you can play, there's the Illumina Orbs, there's gotta be something I gotta be getting soon for this. Come on, Professor, give me something. Alright. Actual cutscene, I like it. Something incredible has happened. Here, take a look at this. Okay. Here's the thing. When he got near that field of flowers, I picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. Also. Its uh its source seemed to be moving too, if only slightly. Which suggests what we've got here is <laughs> And an Illumina Pokemon? We can't be sure yet, but I suspect so. I wonder why it showed up. Did you do something special? I also doubt that it appeared when it did by chance. So I think you should be the one to investigate the area where that reading is coming from. What? Oh, I want to go see too. You can watch through the monitor with me, what? Rita. Head out as soon as you're ready. Interesting. 
Alright, um... Alright, let's go to the Illumina Spot in the Nature Park. We might find a Illumina Pokemon there. Alright, well, I want to do the... Oh, it's the same exact... Oh, yeah. Alright, I want to do the Night Course one more time. Try to get some better photos. First off, because I feel like I'm, I'm pretty close to, uh... Level 2 for that. I wonder if I can actually get a couple more decent shots. We'll see how that goes. Especially, like, getting Score Bunny right off the bat. Or at least be a little bit more aware of him. Try and get, like, a fire shot. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, Score Bunny, come on. Alright, maybe not that one. Alright, there's a whole lot of Buffalo out there that were sleeping, so that's nothing too crazy. I gotta be getting items soon. Alright, where are you? Gotcha! Ooh, that was a nice shot. Let's see, I can snag him right here. And... Boom! Ooh, there you go. Nice little happy one. Alright. Not overly concerned with that Tangrowth. Because he didn't move much, and the one I got beforehand is, like, super big. So I'm not really too concerned about that Tangrowth. Can you get a little bit closer with this Caterpie? There we go. Looks pretty good. I, I got those already. Let's snag that one just in case. I'm hearing stuff. I don't know if it's just Pokemon I've already passed, or if it's just simply, uh... I'm missing something, but... So we got... Ducklets and Swanas out there. There's a Pidgey. I definitely would try and get a little bit of a better one, maybe. Or rather, like, a, just a different one in general. Let's try that one. Eating a little bit, so... looks a little bit different from the one I took, so maybe that'll be a different star level. Get that one for Peachy. That might be a little bit of a better one, too. Hoot hoot. Take it easy, pal. I realize I'm going, I'm going around pretty quick, but I'm also just trying to make sure I get a... Uh, at least try to look. See if I'm missing anything. Back pincer, no big deal. Ooh, combi. Ooh. If I could have gotten them, that would have been so much better. I definitely would try and get them a little closer, though. There you go. We're definitely going to work on getting some of the best Torterra shots. All right, come on, Combi. Someone face me. Come on. No, it's not time. No, Professor. There we go. That'll work. All right. Snag one right at the very end. Let's see. All right, let's see if maybe if we can get some different. Uh, Different star levels, that'd be great. Because I want to try to get to level 2. Alright. Alright, come on, Professor. Be good. Be good to me. Only 17 photos. That's it? That's not bad. I thought... I guess I would have taken some more. Ah, cool. That's only a 1? That's unfortunate. Okay. 
Alright, let's do that one for the two star because he's smiling. Alright, good. These are all ones. I forget what the other one was I had. Oh, I think it was a four star for Caterpie. Got two star Pidgeot's ass. Okay, it's a one. I am actually getting some different ones than what I originally had, which is good. That's what I was kind of hoping for. Oh, well, Comey's a new one. I don't think it'll compare, but let's take a shot at that Torterra one looking right. It's probably not going to beat, because, I mean, it's got a Pichu and a Grookey in it, so it probably won't be much different. Let's take a look, though. Alright. <laughs> Two-star two star Crystal Score Bunny right off the bat. I love it. Alright, a new one-star Caterpie. Oh, just shy of probably... Probably a Crystal. Pidgey, I'm not happy about this one. Alright, so we'll work on that one. Murkrow, new one for that one. A new one star. What we got? Just shy. Oh my god. Alright. You know, that's fine. Not everything's gonna go my way. It's no big deal. Okay, 500 for the same. Okay. Alright. Ooh! Wow! 40. I think it's like my highest one now. Definitely keep that one. Alright, Pinsir. New one for Pinsir. A new one like that. Another crystal. Alright, we're doing good. Torterra, yeah, it's probably not gonna. Let's see here. Um, oh, the other Pokemon, yeah. It's bigger, it's got a better direction. Placement is just a smidge off, but yeah, the difference is with the Grookey and the Pinsir. It got close. It got close, but not. I had a feeling that wasn't gonna... That was not gonna overtake it. Okay, Comey's new. One star, so let's see here. Crystal right off the bat. Oh my god. Alright. Is that everybody? That is everybody. Can I actually... Can I hit level 2? Can we hit level 2? Yes, we did. Alright. Hell yeah, Professor. Alright, now let's step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. Alright, now... Let's go back to the, the Illumina spot. Let's do that. See what that's all about. That was good. The the night course definitely gave a whole lot new different different Pokemon, a whole lot of different poses as well. Forty five hundred for that that Pichu shot. I think it's like my record. Alright. Illumina spot, okay. Let's see here. What do we gotta do? Okay, Florio Island, a temperate island where human and Pokemon live together in harmony. That's such a great first sentence. Well, that's definitely where the reading was coming from. Okay. Do you see or hear anything? I see the stars, Professor. There's a little luminous spot there. We definitely got us something. We definitely got us something, Professor. Is this the Meganium? Yes, it is. That is a giant Meganium. That cannot be its cannon height. That is a huge Meganium. That Meganium's the Illumina Pokemon. Quick, get its picture. You got it, Professor. I, I don't know that it attracts, though. We'll get that one. Get that one. Okay. Ooh, it's doing a thing. Okay. Professor, I can't exactly speed up. If I could speed up and get ahead of it, that'd be good. There's nothing... Alright, there's nothing else really going on. Alright. I don't see anything else in the background on the cliffs above it.
That is a huge goddamn meganium. That looks way bigger than what it really should be. Okay, anything else around? Uh, quick scan, I don't see anything. Okay, that's pretty good. No, no. No, no. Don't drive away from him by the tree. Go closer. Closer. He's kind of looking like, yo, you still here? Why am I stopping? Come on. Oh. Okay, that was the end. All right then. The energy reading is gone too. Let's chat when you get back. All right, let's do that. So we got the giant meganium, the first Illumina Pokemon. All right, we got a lot to discuss, but first let's get your photos evaluated. Why can I not select... Oh, they're just not that good. Okay. They're legit not that good. Okay, there's one three-star. Where's that one? Is that like towards the end when it was lighting up? Where's... Am I missing... Okay, there's a two. There's a one. There's a two. Another two. One, two, two, two. So why does it say I have one that's a three star? Alright, let's do... Alright, let's do that one then as our two. That was weird, why did it not show me a three? I had to have been... I had to, I'm gonna be pissed if it was like right there and I missed it. Alright, new two star pose, 1900 right off the bat. Now this is now this you don't see every day. Fantastic. Okay, size, direction. Fifty-seven ninety-two. That is definitely a new record. All right then. So they're regular meganium in the game, or is it just simply um, Illumina Pokemon then? All right, level up number two for that, which is cool. Another step forward for research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. You scored a 5,000 point or more on a photo evaluation. Booyah! You guys scored a 1,000 points or more in the pose category. Sweet! You registered the Illumina Pokemon Meganium. Okay, uh, you received the research title Gen Gentle Wonder. By the way, now that we've got that Illumina Pokemon info, i got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'd be pleased to hear this. Can I get something? Can I get the food or something? So yeah, I wonder that. If if the Illumina Pokemon, like if they're special, like Meganium, if it's if Meganium is just Illumina or if there's others in the game. So I'm sure we'll come across that at some point. You're back. Yes, you're back. That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge and was it Say something. Rita. Easy there, Rita. Take a deep breath. Look who's talking. You're practically dancing, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. There's no doubt about it. That Meganium was an Illumina Pokemon, just like in the Legends. Remind me what the Legends say about Illumina Pokemon again, Professor? Didn't they say... This, didn't they supposedly save Lentil from a huge disaster a long time ago or something? Mm -hmm. So the story goes, yes. Also. Illumina Pokemon were also said to have distinctive patterns and to glow with unusual light. Sounds like our new friend. Yes, to the letter. I'm convinced the events in those legends really did happen. And discovering the true history in this of this region could be the key that opens up all our research. Hang on, wasn't there one more important thing you were going to mention, Professor? That's alright, it's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation from here tomorrow. Professor, give me some food. Food me! Come on. Or give me the flute. Give me something. Come on. Good morning. Good morning. Did you manage to get some sleep? 
Now, as Reed already told you, Here's the thing. I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire Lentil region. And no sooner had you arrived that we suddenly found an Illumina Pokemon. Huh? You think there's a connection, Professor? I can't be sure yet. But fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Really? <laughs> well, you know, maybe. Jeez. For scientists, you sure can be vague sometimes, Professor. Still, I think it's a good idea. I'll be way, it'll be way more fun with you along. Well, there you have it. Ready to officially join our research team? Well? You got it. Excellent. Well then, let's make it official. With a team badge. Okay. I put the badge on my hat. It's like you were born to wear it. Well, what are we waiting for? Adventure awaits. Not to rain on your parade, Rita. But I need to get a couple more things ready first. Come on. Just a little bit longer, alright? I promise it'll be worth the wait. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do some research. Alright, you officially joined the Lentil Region Research Team. You officially joined... Oh. Oh, it's a profile icon. Okay. Now that you're full-fledged team, yes, the food. All right. Now that you're full-fledged team member, I have something for you that'll come in handy. As for the explanation, would you do the honors, Rita? Yes, sir. But is it just me, or have you been getting me to do a lot of more of your work lately, Professor? Oh well. Time to explain, like the great assistant I am. This is a fluff fruit. They grow here in the Lentil region. They're sweet and tasty, and they make a great snack for Pokemon. They may look just like regular apples, but they're way lighter and softer. You'll probably make a Pokemon's day if you toss it right. one of these. Alright, let's get some practice. Alright, come on. Hey, look, there's Pikachu. Again. Alright, fluff fruit with the B. Boop! <clears throat> okay, I see it. A little snack. Move. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, and then a little closer. Hey, get over here. If you want to throw fiber, aim a little bit higher. I know, I'm trying not to hit it. Some Pokemon might not be interested. Maybe they're more cautious and hungry. No, Pikachu's hungry. Oh, Those little chunky boy. Be Don't forget what I told you, okay? Oh, I can't. Oh, I was trying to take a picture of him. Right? All right, pretty easy, right? I think that should be all you need to know. So I guess now we just wait till the professor gives us the green light to move on. Oh, I've got an idea. You should try testing out a new take, uh, I messed that up. You should try testing out fluff fruit and taking some more photos in the meantime. The professor says there are all kinds of ways to use it. Wow. Finished explaining, I see. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Rita. I got one more thing to tell you about for now. I thought it'd be handy to have a quick way to share what we see and learn in the field. Are you too familiar with Lentalk? It rings a bell, yep. I think. It's a communication tool folks here in Lentil use. Rita, let's say you notice something exciting in the field. You can send a photo and a description over Lentalk. I can use it to send things I notice on the monitor, too. That sounds super fun. Look for Lentalk messages in the top right of the screen at the research camp and elsewhere. That ought to help. Alright, so let's go back out to the park during the day. I had a feeling they were going to try to do this anyway, but I wanted to, so I beat you to it, game. Let's see what happens if I can throw some fruit, get some Pokemon a little bit closer. Alright, back here at the beginning, let's see here. Alright, um... Da, 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 da. No, no, come on, guys. No, no. Well, that did not go well. Hey, Bufalant, you want a little... No? Okay, that's fine. How about you? You want... You want... Okay. Uh, hey, Dodrio. Hup! My head's butt. You want some fruit, Badoof? Oh, guess not. Hup! 
Uh, hip. Yeah, uh, hip. Rumple. Hip. You want the fruit there, buddy? That kind of worked. I did not get that in time. All right, this is gonna. All right, this is not gonna plan out as well as I thought. How about the Starly? Can I? Um, let's see here. Starly hook. Maybe. Oh no, guess not. Starly. You guys wanna? You guys want apple? No. Well, this is... Hold on. Pichu. Guys, come on. You want the fruit? That we run out of the Dodrio's way? There we go. Dodrio, you asshole. Guys, fruit? No? Oh, okay. Bye. Badoof? Here you go. Oh. I just bopped in the face. I'm sorry, pal. There we go. That's a nice one. Um, Tangro? Yo, dude. Here you go. Fruit? Yes? No? Okay. Nice talk. Can I hit the magic card? Oh. Do it again. Oh, I can definitely try to get that next time. Warple. Come on, little dude. Come on, almost. Come on, come on. Would like that to get a little bit bigger, but it's okay. Starly, you want. <laughs> It'd be funny if that's actually like something I could do. Uh, Alright, anybody? Boop! Everyone want some fruit? Food, guys? It's time. No, it's not time. No! Wooflant. No, they don't want... Hup. Is he is going for the apple? Ooh, there we go. Ooh! Ooh, I just got that one. Alright, so I gotta, like, practically throw it in the Buffalon's face, then. Alright, let's see here. Alright, some new ones. Okay. Okay, let's get that one for him. You know, we'll do Happy Grookey for that one. We'll do it for two star. Okay. Tangrowth. Yeah, it's the same. I'm not even going to waste my time. Uh, I feel like I can get a better one of that one next time. <laughs> There's a two star for a Talo. Nothing for the... Damn. Oh, wait. Um, No, no. Uh, let's try that one. Yeah, we'll do the last one. All right, let's try that. Park during the day. All right, let's see here. Marble, that's a totally new one. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I can definitely get that one bigger next time. Nice work. Okay, good on good on that pose. Size is way better. Okay, that's definitely a whole lot better. Nice work. Badoof. And okay, Magic Carp. This one's not gonna be the best. You know, silver. If I can time it right next time, that'll be better. Gold for that. Okay. All right, here we go. Ready? Pose. Looks happy, doesn't it? Well, come on now. All right, size. Way closer. Better direction. There we go. 
Hell yeah. Christ, all my bufalants are gonna be, like, amazing. Is that enough to actually shoot me up to level 3? Maybe? Maybe not? Oh... Oh, not quite. Okay. If we make a few more discoveries, we may reach some new frontiers. Alright, so that was good. That was a nice way to get the fruit out there. Finally, now we can start tracking the Pokemon, right? Nice. This is Todd. He's a professional Pokemon photographer. His work takes him all over the world. Are you the ones who caught the Illumina Pokemon on camera? Way to go, that's a big deal. So? Todd, did you bring what I asked for you? What what I asked you to? I sure did. You're a lifesaver. Now we'll finally be able to set out. Huh? Is this guy a friend of yours, Professor? Mm -hmm. An old travel companion, to be precise. He's been helping me plan our big survey of lentil too. Huh. No kidding. Ooh, is that the new pod you put together? It reminds me of the good old days. Okay. But hey, let me see those Illumina Pokemon photos. Oh, it's only just the one. Wow, you've really got an eye for this. Hmm. Hey! Huh? Back off, kid. Get your own mentor. Who the hell are you? <laughs> what do I have as a rival? Seriously? Phil? So you're the new teammate, huh? I'm Phil, Todd's number one student. Okay, now. Easy there, Phil. I'm tempted to take part in this big ecological survey myself, but I have another idea. How about I lend Phil... How about I lend Phil... Or how about I send Phil with you instead? Yep. Nah. I'm fine with that if you are, Todd. Awesome! Yes, awesome! However... You can be my stand-in for now, but don't forget, I'll need that badge back eventually. <sighs> oh, fine. But if I take a super cool photo, I get to keep the badge. And, uh... So yeah, what's an ecological uh... survey? <laughs> all of a sudden, we got a team of photographers. Okay. Now that you're all here, we can get started. Listen up, team. I'm going to give you a breakdown of the survey. Is that a new area opening up? This is Florio Island, our home, sweet home. The circled spot here is our also. camp. But this survey will take us past these shores. Mm -hmm. And this will be our first destination. Hey, Phil. Why are we starting there? I've detected a spot there with high energy readings. The Neo One should be able to teleport to it. This island showed up in the travel log, right? It certainly did. Captain Vince wrote that he saw a glowing Pokemon here too, in fact. Come on. Come on already, let's get this survey thing started. Fair enough. Enjoy your first in a century adventure into the wilds of Lentil. Alright. So we got a new area to go to, I'm guessing, right? New area unlocked. Thanks. The Luzva. The Fon Funja Jungle. Alright, we'll end this episode here, everybody. We got a whole lot done. We got the, the park at night. We got Illumina Pokemon. We got... The uh, fruit, we got Todd, we got a new area unlocked, we got a whole lot accomplished. I'll end this video here. If you guys enjoyed the video, to give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that, whether you like Pokemon Snap, new Pokemon Snap, or Pokemon General. If you want to subscribe to the channel, I greatly appreciate that for more gaming content, more Pokemon content, more Pokemon Snap content, more content all around. Like I said, feel free to hit that subscribe button, everybody. I would greatly appreciate that. So, until then, everybody, thank you for watching today's video. Your time is a valuable resource to you, and for you to share with me is an absolute honor. Take care of yourselves out there, everybody. In the next video, we're going to go explore the jungle, see what we can find next. It'll be exciting. Take care, everybody.